Now, moving on, Heavenly Culture Award Peace Restoration of Light that was founded by Lee Manhe Forested for Peace at the function held of the O Uganda Oldest University, where many of the Ugandans have been called upon to join this movement by spreading the message to the others. Let's take a look. During the third commemoration of the Declaration of Peace and Cessation of War, DPCW at Makerere University, this as a way to respond to the need for international legal instrument for peace and cessation of war. Through the Peace Later campaign, HWPL believes that the Declaration of Peace and Cessation of War can become a universal law in case all the required signatures are to be gotten. According to the Deputy Director, HWPL, Balenzi David Nkwanga, the different heads of state, including His Excellency Yori Kagutam Seveni, should embrace this idea by signing the DPCW as a way of championing peace. The President of Uganda, Seveni, has signed the DPCW as a way of championing peace. Of course, today we are seeing that many nations are attacking each other. We see potentials of wars. We see that we see potentials of wars. We see that uh, weapons are being manufactured, which means that really there is no peace in the world. And right now, DPCW is focusing at creating a situation whereby there is no nation going against another nation, whereby there is freedom of religion, whereby different ethical groups are able to coexist in the same society. That's the kind of law we are talking about. During the course of the event, attendees and guests also wrote peace letters that are to be presented to the president of Uganda. As for Dr. Juna Mweteise, he urges that if the DPCW is signed, laws that have been happening between Rwanda and Uganda wouldn't have manifested. So if the president of Uganda is able to sign this, and the president of Rwanda can also engage himself in signing this, so they can really take time to understand these clauses and the articles that are involved in DPCW. And if they are able to take them up, then we shall not see any other quarrels that come up again. And like I said, uh, we ha there is the arm of the youth, then there is the arm of the women at different, you know, the, the youth have their role to play and the women also have their role to play and the entire congregation or, or the entire public. Pastor Pascal Lutaya, the director of Mengo Youth Development, who has also been one of the invited guests, emphasized that the peace should not only be looked at country level, but also family level. But the problem, according to our research, is that these people are running, these young children are running away from their families because of these non peace families. So we yeah. should try to address peace in families. Yeah. A lot of things are happening in our families that we're coming from. That's why we are promoting positive parenting among young children. Yeah. The event is expected to share the outcomes of activities undertaken to introduce the 10 articles and 38 clauses for the declaration of peace and cessation of war to the United Nations and present status of the international community's support. Joshua Mitala, Tony Kewaza, Record TV. <laughs> Well, thank you for choosing to be part of Record News tonight. I have been your anchor, Asha Kulsum, wishing you a blessed week ahead now. From I and the team, it's a good night from us. <laughs>